Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at Google Moderator. This is a fabulous tool for back channeling, questions and answers, discussion forums, and much more. To get to Google Moderator, you simply go in your navigator to google.com slash moderator. Once you're there, you can click on Create Series, and you're going to add a title for the series. I like to click on Advanced here because there's many more options that you can choose beyond titling it. Now a series is the overarching topic or theme that you can create subtopics, events, or meeting under. This main series isn't the actual chat stream or, dis chat stream or discussion forum, but it's sort of like the course or overall idea. Underneath it, you're going to create topics, events, or meetings that are going to be the chat stream. So for this one, I'm going to call this our video course. And under video course, I'm going to call it, um, I challenge you to create PSA on, PSAs on different topics. And then here I can attach a YouTube video. I can attach a YouTube video of anything I want. So it could be uh, me giving directions. It could be a model video that I want them to um, use this off of. If uh, in this example, it's a video course, but I could change this to, um, you know, literature or math or fractions or European history. And the YouTube video could be about a primary source, um, a screencast that isn't finished. So they have to finish solving this differential equation, many different things. Series visibility, I can make it public on the web if I want anyone to find and get into it, or I can make it anyone with a link if I want this to be a bit more private for my students. I can add uh, co-owners to the series or co-teachers so they can also edit and manage the series. And then here, this part's very important, I can determine what it is that people are submitting. Are they submitting questions, ideas, or suggestions? And are they submitting those questions, ideas, or suggestions to a uh, topic, which you usually use in the classroom, a meeting, which you use might be for a PD or workshop series or events. Um, maybe I'm an entire organization and I'm holding different events and I want to have moderators for each one. Content control allows you to moderate submissions, whether you find them inappropriate um, or if you think that they're duplicating themselves. I can also hold certain phrases that I might want to look at before I moderate, uh, before I release them. Uh, for example, if I think my students might use some not so nice language, I can uh, put those phrases here and uh, it'll go to me and flag. I can allow my students or participants to submit questions anonymously, which is great for getting feedback, uh, session feedback or class feedback. Um, I can also allow them to submit YouTube videos, which in this example uh, would be great. So if I had my kids creating PSAs on iMovie or using youtube.com slash editor, which is the YouTube's uh, editor, um, then I can have them submit those YouTube videos here uh, to, the re to respond. I can allow people to submit responses to each other. Here it says questions because I have questions selected, but I can also pick ideas or something else. So if one student um, asks a question about a math problem, I can have uh, their peers respond to them. And I can also show those threaded responses by default. Uh, they could either be collapsed or they could be appearing on the actual moderator stream. I can allow um, the translated text to be displayed and also um, detection of duplicate submissions, which is nice in case somebody is uh, responding with duplicate. So now um, I can go ahead and have students actually submit their questions or ideas where it says question here and question here. That would change to idea or suggestion if I'd picked that instead. Um, so I could say, why is a raven like a writing desk? And I can ask. Um, you can see here that it has my name as AOSL Demo at Chicago, Illinois, because that's the name of the Google account that I'm in, but you can always change that. And then if students want to respond to each other, they click uh, post a response here, and that's how they can answer. So um, I don't know. What do you think? And you can see that it comes up as a threaded reply, which is really nice. Um, they can also upvote or downvote different questions. I could say I agree or I disagree, which helps uh, with maybe a Socratic seminar or when they're coming up with ideas for um, problem solving in the classroom or maybe professional problem solving as a staff. Um, I can also sort by date what's hot or popularity or export the entire series as a CSV file, which I can open in Google Spreadsheets or Excel. 
I can add new topics, which as I said, this is an entire series, but you add subtopics and those are the discussions. So right now this is called questions, but I can change that to um, ideas about ravens. Um, and I can add a new topic, which is ideas about uh, water conservation. Um, I can edit the topic info as in when, I, when the moderator opens and closes, when everything um, should be submitted. So since I set this for 11 a.m., um, it says come back at 11 a.m. to submit your questions and votes. So you can see here I set it to it doesn't start till 11 a.m., so it won't allow them to start until then. If I change this to, let's say, 6 o'clock, um, and I go back, then it'll allow me to submit questions. And I can pick the topic, <clears throat> excuse me, right from here that I am discussing, uh, water conservation or raven, so I can switch the topic or um, chat stream that I am responding to. Um, you can see that what I've contributed, so I can go back to my votes and my questions to see if anyone's responded to me. And um, as the owner, I can go and edit the series from the top. So this is a very quick overview of Google Moderator and some of the things that you can do to use it, both in class and out of class. Hopefully this has piqued your interest. And if you have more uh, questions or want some more ideas about use cases, you can visit my blog post, which is at teachinglikeits2999.com. Thanks so much and hope this helped you today.